such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, beef lo mein. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can't stress it enough. Once you guys start stir frying any types of stir fry, you have to get everything ready. So what we have for this beautiful beef lo mein today, we got Napa cabbage here, maybe three pieces. We got three pieces of gai lang. We got three pieces of, uh, uh, what is this, sprig onions. We got few pieces, like maybe five, six, seven, eight of uh, garlic chives. We got two, four, six, eight, eight pieces of garlic. We got one half of an onion, a nice bowl of bean sprouts. And all we're gonna do, prepare this, okay? You can't make any stir fry without preparing your stir fry first. So get in on this. We got some clothes, pound it down, okay? Very simple, get it ready. Okay, if you're not ready, you're burning. Remember that, if you're not ready, you're burning. What I mean by that is that when you're not ready, you are burning your stir fry 100%. Like you're still chopping, if you're still just like washing and everything, you're burning. You're burning your low main, my guy and gal. You're burning. A nice onion. So for onions, I like to thinly slice it down like this. Like so. Just be careful, okay? Slow it down with your hands. Don't have to be fancy. Just cut it nicely. Don't have to show off, okay? Once you gotta chop, I'm gonna do two slits. Push it together. Get ready. Okay, I should have sharpened my knife before this, but it's still all good, all right? Garlic chives. Maybe an inch up. Very simple, okay? Very, very simple. This, I'm gonna leave it to the side. Sprig onions. I'm gonna cut right that off for there, the little white part, and I'm gonna grow that later. My wife's gonna grow that later, for sure she's gonna grow that later. I'm just gonna chop this down in half, push this together. Once you push this together, pack it tight, and I'm just gonna slice it out. Next, Gai Lan. So, if you guys don't know what Gai Lan is, it's Chinese broccoli. What I like to do, chop that piece off, go two inches up, chop that piece off, push this to the side, Give this a nice half cut, push this to the side. And this, we're just gonna half it, and we're just gonna slice it out. It's gonna give it a nice crunch in our beautiful stir fry, okay? See what I'm doing? I'm preparing the stir fry. If you want a successful stir fry, you gotta prepare your stir fry, okay? Like I said, what did I say? Something with burning? If you ain't ready, you're burning. That's all. Napa cabbage, nice three pieces. I'm gonna go right where I just kind of just leaf out. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna slice it out. If you feel like your julienne is too long, this is what you do. Turn this around, chop it right in half. Very simple, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Don't make it too hard for yourself, okay? Napa cabbage is just four or five slits, done. After all that chopping, your veggies are ready. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Pat on the back, pat on the back, okay? Next, here we go, top sirloin. This is what we're gonna do. I got this at Costco, I think roughly around $20. And all we're gonna do is slice this right in half, like so, on this face here. We're gonna slide it down. You know what, I'm giving it another chop, just because it is a little thick. Then I'm gonna fold it this way, like this. Then we're gonna slice it down, okay? You don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin. You just want it just right, like this. Here, this piece is good. See, like one centimeters, you know? Just one centimeter. Nice and sliced is pretty much around 12 ounces of beef here. I'll tell you what, you can actually put any type of beef or chop any type of beef just because there's one secret powder that will tenderize any type of beef and make it legit filet mignon. So 12 ounces here. 
a teaspoon, well, it's about a tablespoon of garlic here. So right now, what we're kind of doing right now is just marinating our beef. It's gonna go right into our noodles and stir fry as well. So don't be shy to kind of marinate a little extra because at the end of the day, all we're gonna add in just for extra is just soy sauce. So um, 12 ounces of beef steak. We got a tablespoon of garlic here. We got two tablespoon of light soy sauce here. We got a teaspoon of oyster sauce here. Don't go too heavy, right? Half a teaspoon of black pepper. A teaspoon of sesame oil. Half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Or if you like it darker, put a little more, but that much is just fine. Okay. Half a teaspoon of mushroom seasoning or chicken bouillon. Half a teaspoon of sugar. Balance life out. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said in the beginning, you can buy any type of beef you want because this powder right here, if you guys know what this powder is, I'll show you. It's in French. Just kidding, I'll show you English. Bacon powder, this will tenderize anything, I promise you, any type of meat. For uh, 12 ounces, I'm just gonna do half a teaspoon. Let's do half a teaspoon. And we're just gonna let this marinate for 30 minutes minimum. I'll tell you, once you put that bacon powder in, any meat you have marinating, will come out nice and tender and silky, all right? We got our lo mein noodles. So lo mein noodles are a little thicker than the chow mein noodles. I'll show you. These are already cooked and ready to set it up. That's it. This is roughly around, let me see, 454 grams of lo mein noodles. Well, this says mandarin noodles, but I believe these are no menus because they're thicker, right? Okay, is everybody ready? Let me run through this again so you guys don't mess it up, right? So if you're not ready, you're burning. So we got our garlic, we got our onions, we got our chives, we got our onions, our green onions here. We got uh, garlic stems, we got garlic leaves, we got some uh, cabbage leaves, um, cabbage stems. We got avocado oil, we're getting healthy. We got, um, what's this, bean sprouts. We got our noodles, we got our marinated beef, we got our soy sauce and dark soy sauce, and we got our wok. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready. Is everybody ready? Let's go. Wok, fire. And remember, if your noodle ain't glistening, it ain't right. So two tablespoons, let's go three tablespoons of oil in. Let that heat up. Some may be like, oh, Kwan, that's so much oil in your stir fry. You know what, go out and buy it. So you out won't know how much oil is in your stir fry, right? Just go out and buy it, right? Go to your most favorite Chinese restaurant and order it and tell me it ain't glistening. Come on. I'm just I'm just telling you the truth. You just don't like the truth. <laughs> so I do have a glove here because this part uh, does get really hot, but here it is. Our beautiful garlic and onion in stir fry. Still fragrant. Our beef in. I'm giving you extra beef for this one, right? Come to Kwan's house, and I'll give you extra beef. Back it in. Break it in. Nice and sear on one side. Flip it. Then work that in. Let that sear on the other side. Beef is nicely cooked. We got our Two stems, our cabbage stems and our galang stems. We also gonna throw in our noodles. Break it in. Work it in. Okay, a bit of dark soy sauce, get some color. We got a nice handful of bean sprouts, bok choy stem, or galang stems, cabbage stems, green onions and chives. A bit more soy sauce, season and just for your life, all right? Work it in. Beef lo mein. 
is up my yarn gal. Beautiful. Beautiful. The only way to serve this, in my opinion, takeout style. That's the only way, my guys. Whose order is this? Let me check the bill. Order 69! Your beef lo mein is up my yeah, yeah. Food review. So I we went to Quan's house today. And we got the beef chow mein. You know what? This guy didn't even charge us for anything, for even extra beef. This guy just wanted a smile. Like, what's up with this guy, you know? What's up with this guy? But let's say this. Beef chow mein looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm here with my wife here reviewing Quan's house uh, beef chow mein and we'll see how it tastes like. Go ahead, my love. Be honest, right? Tell me what it thinks. <laughs> like, I went to this restaurant today, my love, and he was all right. He was nice. He was nice. You know Quan's house? You know him? Yes. Oh, you know him? <laughs> how do you know him? How do you know him? Because he is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll talk to him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give it a try, my love. So it was extra beef. I asked for extra beef. But I feel like he gave me extra vegetables. If it's salty, I say it's salty. Just be honest, okay, mm. my love? I got some sambal. It's the best with it. Mm. What do you think, my love? Very good. Very good? It smells of sesame oil. Sesame oil? Mm. You want some hot sauce, my love? Mm. Yeah, get some hot sauce on it because... Picks it up a notch. It is Sriracha's cousin. Ooh, a little more. It is. A bit. A bit sour, my love, but it's really good, I promise. It's really good with it. But, what do you think? Mm. Mm. A little okay. garlic chili sauce on it. Let's try it. Super pumped for this. Mm. <laughs> try it on. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. He kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but he gave us this for free. <laughs> the beef is very soft. Very soft, right? Yeah. My wife has a point there. Like I said in the video too, if you guys um want to cook this, you can use any type of beef you want. The baking soda will, will pretty much um, tenderize it for you. You use the cheapest piece of meat and put that baking soda on it, or baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder on it, and you'll be gravy. The meat's very silky. Mm. Very good. Very delicious. What'd you give this restaurant? Would you go back and buy it? Yeah, of course, <laughs> but not. <laughs> You think it's good? Very good. He put a lot of topping or filling in this, eh? Not that much noodle. I think uh, the noodles, there should be more noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But it's different. It's not different. It's delicious. Not mm -hmm. What do you think? What will change next? No. Anything change? It's perfect. <laughs> perfect for me. Perfect for you? Uh, Last night, I forgot to take out the Mexican cola for our tacos, but we're going to do Mexican cola for <laughs> the beach family. <laughs> All right, so I heard, ooh, wow. I heard that, ooh, look at this, smoky, oh, you didn't see it smoky anymore, but I heard out of all Coca-Cola, my love, yeah. Mexico has the best Coca-Cola or the most original, mm. original uh, flavor. Tell me what you think. It smells like Coke. It's light. It's light? Let's see. It don't have uh, so much gas. Yeah, it doesn't have that much gas. Or maybe. Let's try it by itself. Let's try it by itself without the ice so it doesn't dilute it. Super close. 
from the when I have gas. But it has gas. I think the ice, the ice. I kind of do feel it on the teeth. That's a little um, a little more sweet. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? yeah. It's a little more sweet, but I think no, it's fine. No, I think it's it's less sweet. It's less sweet. Yeah. Try that one without the ice, my love, because there's. I'm not even sure how much sugar is in this, but it's still all good. No, it's good. Right? Yeah, not <laughs> sweet. Does it taste like in Canada? Not sweet. Yeah. Is this like in Canada? Yeah. Enough, enough sweet. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Mexican cola tastes like cola in Canada. That's what my wife said. But I would say this. Vietnam Coca-Cola, yeah. it, it doesn't compare. Like, Vietnam Cola is just like... I think they're trying to look out for their their um, their people, Vietnamese people, and the sugar content on Coca Cola is just like, like, like this much. Like let's say, in Canada it's this much sugar, or it, Canada America is like this much sugar, uh, Vietnam's like this much sugar. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're drinking a diet Coke, <laughs> but it's a lot. It's a lot of fizz in it. Like to get real good Coca Cola in Vietnam, you have to go to um, like. Popeyes, McDonald's, yeah. and all that places, like Americanized place. But if you buy it out of stores, it doesn't taste like it whatsoever. <laughs>